Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Aluminum PowerBook G4 running Mac OS 9. So none of the Aluminum models officially supported OS 9. It only supported OS 10. So let's go ahead and power it on. So as you can see, we have the Happy Mac and the welcome to Mac OS symbol here. So the startup is actually relatively quick. So we have our Ethernet QuickTime extensions on the bottom. And just like that, we are now into the system. So with this particular PowerBook, sound is supported, but we only have 256 colors, which is relatively limited. So you can't exactly use it as a daily driver. So we don't have the macOS pattern here, but what we can do is click on the Apple and we can click on about this computer and look at the specs. So we have Mac OS 9.2.2. We have 768 megs of RAM um, and a special Mac OS 10.2.1 ROM that has been modified to allow booting on these OS X only machines. So, now let's go into some of the applications that actually do work. I also was able to get the chooser panel over here. Now we'll close that. Now, if we click on over here, the monitors controls, we'll open this up. In fact, we'll open it from the control panel because that's the only way you can actually do it. If we change it to 256 grays, it will look something like this. This does not look like grays at all, but on the other hand, we can now see the finder pattern. So we'll change it back. Now, as you can see in the control panels on the keyboard, such as display and brightness, we can test it out right now, work. Not, not brightness, but volume, you can, you can easily make it louder or softer. It's relatively good, isn't it? Now we can also look at some of the applications we have. So we'll click on our hard drive and we'll click on our applications. So Sherlock 2, if we open it, let's see if it works. It doesn't have all the necessary, it only has internet, but I don't think this has Wi-Fi support. I don't think so. We have our simple text. We don't have any voices here, but we can get a main system font and we can type in something. So we got test. So we can close that. Don't save. We can also click on QuickTime and see if a sample movie actually plays. It actually does. In 256 colors. This is QuickTime 6, I think the last version to officially be supported with Mac OS 9. We also have our sample image, which opened successfully. Now let's see if iTunes actually works. So evidently the window's over there, but what if we wanted to actually add music in there. Let's try and drop the sample movie in. And we can see if we can turn on the visualizer. In fact, the visualizer actually does work 
We have our mini player. We'll turn the visuals on again and we can make it full screen with Command F. Now the visuals aren't exactly full screen over here, but it does work. Works somehow. Or maybe it just doesn't. Well, looks like we got something. So even in 256 colors, we still have a relatively effective iTunes visualizer. So we can try, make some different effects. Pretty good. It's pretty good. So we're going to close that now. And I think the last application we're going to go through is graphing calculator. Doesn't have quick draw, but we'll try version three. Looks like it has relatively limited graphics in this case with the animations. Can't even sit, usually in this one you can't, you're supposed to see an earth, but evidently not. But we also have this rainbow, just like the rainbow apple color. So we can stop that. And we can close. Now this, also, this particular PowerBook has a DVD player, but I don't think it's officially supported. In fact, this whole system isn't supported. So what would you expect? So the last thing is sleep does not work. So if we try and activate sleep mode, it will just tell you your computer can't sleep because some system software is missing. So that was Mac OS 9 running on an unsupported PowerBook. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.